Good morning and welcome back to Stonehouse Gardens. I thought I would just give a quick little update um, as to where we are. We are about, it's um, June 10th today, so these towers have been in uh, for about a month, uh, maybe a little bit longer, but I think we were uh, late April, early May when we put them in. We might be at six weeks, so I'll have to look back. But um, this is the tower that has um, some of the summer vegetables on it. The dill is doing great. Um, I harvested the basil and made pesto the other day, so um, it's looking kind of sad today, but that's because it was huge and beautiful and um, time to harvest. So we're in harvest mode. Um, and some people, you know, think, oh, I can't harvest until end of June, early July, even into August. Um, but, you know, as soon as you have fruit, start harvesting because that just helps the plant make more right so um, there's some artichokes down in there and and this uh, this must be either my pear so it's coming out of this pot right here and you can see um, I haven't had time to do much pruning back there's the artichoke down underneath there so um, we've got tomatoes that are coming on we've got peppers coming on we've got eggplants and then over here, I've um, same thing. I've, I've topped off some of my cilantro and dried it. Um, we've got some peppers that are forming. Um, these are our hot peppers for salsa. This is all the salsa tower. A little bit of marigolds thrown in there to help keep the pests away. Um, but you can see we've got lots of flowers. I'll probably come out this weekend and, and do a little bit of um, thinning on this so that the, the vines that are just um, not producing fruit will obviously keep the fruit vines. See the, the blossoms there? We've got lots of lots of blossoms coming on. So the tomatoes are, they are a coming. These are all Romas because um, this is all the salsa tower. Um, so we'll have peppers and, and we're going ahead and, and harvesting as we go. Uh, we don't necessarily wait and harvest all at once. See the cilantro right here? This guy um, is, is getting past its prime. So um, the great thing about cilantro is it's delicious all the time. It doesn't get bitter and nasty like some herbs do. So um, I will take that and um, cut these back again and do another um, round of dehydrating, drying the herbs. Um, my family always loves it when I dehydrate um, cilantro because it stinks up the house. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the salsa tower. Um, deadheads a little bit. But um, this is the herb tower again. Um, until I also dried some parsley, so I've cut that back. Um, the lemon balm is happy. It smells delicious. If you've never grown lemon balm, it's great for tea, and it, it helps um, repel mosquitoes. This is also a lemon thyme, um, which I'm also about ready to harvest. Um, so we've just got a lot of things that are that are um, the tarragon. These little flowers. So some of the herbs you can um, eat and harvest and dry with the flowers. The flowers are delicious, like the thyme. Um, but some of them, like basil, you want to catch them before they flower. Um, they get kind of bitter and nasty. Um, so like my purple basil here, I keep pinching off and, and eating. Um, and I made sure to harvest these nice and low so that they don't get too um, advanced. Of course, dill. Dill is wonderful when it's flowering. Um, but all of, all of those are getting close to harvest. And um, I wanted to show you this. I, <laughs> I came out to check and just kind of take a walk through real quick before I head out to work. And um, the raised bed, this is what poked its head out at me this morning, quite literally. Look at that guy. That, um, that broccoli is as big as my head. And I've got, like, all of them are doing that. So a couple of these I'm gonna cut back. Broccoli's another one that you want to you get it when it's tight and um, ready to go. Don't wait because once it flowers, it'll start to bolt and um, it'll stop producing. So if, if I cut these back and um, take them in and um, you can freeze them, um, you can eat them fresh, of course, you can cook them up. But if you um, don't, then you're going to bolt and once they bolt, they're going to be, um, they're, they're not going to be producing as well. So. Um, these guys are also looking pretty good. I've never 
I have a, a lot of trouble with bugs in the dirt. That's why I love my tower gardens because I don't get as many bugs and I don't have to weed. Um, so I, I don't like either one of those things. Um, but I'm getting some really nice, um, the, the broccoli and cauliflower and especially cabbage and, and um, cauliflower. I have a really hard time keeping the earwigs and, um, and other bugs out of, but we've got um, a cauliflower that's, can you, there it is. Got a cauliflower that's peeking through. Um, I've got these guys in here really tight, um, but that's okay because once we start harvesting, we'll start thinning and they'll get more space. Um, you can see my leeks are in there. They're squeezing, but leeks are gonna run all season and these guys um, won't run all season. So once they produce, then I'll harvest and it'll leave more room for, for the leeks. Can you see the leeks down in there? Um, and in the back here, we've got some dill that's behind the, whoops, let's see if I come around. And this this dill is behind the dill on the towers and so um, once I have my my dill off the towers I'll still have this um, I've got some volunteer um, sunflowers so I might need to thin out and take get rid of some um, and move the trampoline back because um, this little pallet garden is not getting quite as much sun as I think it deserves um, so and these got some bugs and I don't want bugs so I think these volunteers are probably gonna go in the dumpster and uh, maybe these even that are here in the front and we'll leave the ones there that are on the north side because um, they're not really affecting the sunlight but um, the corn and the, the pumpkins we've had tons and tons of rain here we went from really hot and 100 degrees down to um, torrential rain and 50 degrees and the spearmint and the strawberries are looking good. Um, same thing, ready to be thinned, ready to do some, some drying. So don't be afraid to harvest. When, when you start producing, as soon as you see it, um, nip it, get it. <laughs> I looked at this broccoli two days ago and it looked like that cauliflower I showed you. So um, don't wait. Mother Nature is in its bounty and is producing. Um, it's time to, to harvest, dry it, freeze it, cook it, can it. Do whatever you need to do um, to enjoy nature's bounty and to really um, to really be in charge of what's growing in your, your food supply and your food chain and, and what's going in your body. All right, have a fantastic uh, day. I'd say a summer day, but it's still spring uh, for another week. Happy gardening. Shine on.